Tonight we're going to be trying two different kinds of eggnog, and that's why we're not doing a blind taste test, because I think we would know this one is pumpkin. This one's vanilla. Yeah, so uh, which one do you want to try first? And we'll talk about one at a time. I want to be disappointed first, so let's try pumpkin. You want to try? <laughs> why do you think you'll be, you shouldn't go in with. never tastes like pumpkin. You shouldn't go in thinking that. This is Hood brand. It is limited edition pumpkin eggnog made with real pumpkin, so you should be happy. And it gives a recipe for pumpkin spice muffins on the side. side. And you use this. Yeah, pumpkin spice eggnog. A cup. Yeah, you use a cup of this. Okay, um, let's see. Serving size, four ounces, uh, 180 calories. And these were both 250 at Walmart. Both kinds were 250. I think most all of their eggnogs this size. This is uh, 32 ounces. I think they're all about yeah, they 250. Were. They had and a bigger hood that was just regular eggnog. It was. If orange. I could show you this, I would. It's it's orange. It looks like pumpkin. I'll try to tilt it down. I don't know how well it'll show up. Uh, yeah, we're on yellow placemats, but it it does have eggnog has uh, regular eggnog has a more buttery look to it yep. and this has a definite pumpkin Hold on, we're look. dark. Oh, there we go. Kevin we playing, were in the dark. playing with the phone. You should be oh, happy. That's good. Yeah. I that know. actually tastes like pumpkin spice, so I'm yeah. happy. Pleasantly surprised because most of the time pumpkin spice disappoints me because it never has enough spice in it. This actually has almost too much spice. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say Listen. too much, but it has a lot in there. I mean, it, you can taste, definitely taste it. It's really good. It's very good. I like it a lot. Coat your tongue. It's getting thick. It is thick. Now, it's not something that I would want all the time. No. You wouldn't like, I, in my opinion, I wouldn't want to eat like a piece of pumpkin pie and have that at the oh, same no, time. No, no, no. You would want it. When would you drink it then? This tastes like melted Trader Joe's pumpkin ice cream. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because that Trader Joe's was excellent spice-wise. This is just the melted version of it. Right. So if you <laughs> don't have a Trader Joe's near you, you can get their ice cream in the form of hood pumpkin eggnog. Right. So tastes just like. Uh, yeah, when would you? Good. Yeah. When would you drink that if you're not going to have it with a dessert? I don't know. I mean, you could just drink it. When would you drink eggnog in general? Because eggnog's kind of sweet anyway. We so drink we're, eggnog while we're cooking Thanksgiving dinner or cooking Christmas dinner. Yeah. While we're cooking. And not in shot glasses. Okay. Yeah, Kevin likes to I get... want a cup. Big cup. <laughs> I want to drink half of it at a time. Yeah, he... Yeah. I want to drink all my calories for the entire day in one drink. Yeah, Kevin goes big. So, okay, so that's really good. That it is really good. good. Definitely that recommend good. that one. Okay. okay. Now we're going to try... The Southern Comfort, this is Vanilla Spice. I'll open it. Oh, do you want to read it? Uh, does it say anything? Uh, this just talks about Southern Comfort. Uh, Has a rich flavor that yields a smooth and creamy taste sensation like no other. That's all it really says. Okay. wonder yeah. what makes it. Shake well, keep refrigerated, do not freeze. Okay, we're Did just going to try it? it. Oh, let's do the calories. Half a cup is 220 calories. That is higher than... It's pretty high. That's pretty high. And it's giving you a recipe. The recipe is for putting Southern Comfort alcohol in the eggnog. <laughs> it's Spiking okay. the eggnog. I'm going to sound really stupid here. Is that bourbon? Um, I think so. I think or, so. Whiskey I or whiskey? Or whiskey? Whiskey? I don't drink. I don't drink. We don't so. drink, so we don't know. We're kind of... Uh, it, now, this is white, okay? So, I've been... Um, We're alcohol. Been talking about... And we have nothing against alcohol or anything. We just don't drink, don't drink it. I mean, we just don't. Hmm. That's just not what we spend our money on. Kevin and I would rather go out and spend our money on um, dinner or a pie or ice cream than alcohol. That's phenomenal. <laughs> I was waiting to see what you said. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. It, it's. I hate to keep saying this, but this is like melted vanilla ice cream. Like a really good vanilla ice cream. I probably look crazy as a lamb just then, but that is so it's, incredibly um, good. It's like, um, it reminds me of Briar's ice cream because Briar's a really strong vanilla flavor. Uh, vanilla. And melted. Melted. 
<laughs> that but, seems silly. I keep saying that. But no, that's what it tastes like. It, you're right. Cream. That that's really, really, really good. Yeah. I so think, I would get um, both of these actually. I think even if you weren't an eggnog person. Oh yeah, this like tastes Ashley's more like Ashley's not an eggnog person. I think she would like mm -hmm. this because it it literally tastes like melted vanilla ice cream, and she likes vanilla or ice snow cream. cream. So yeah, I I think. Um, Anybody could drink that, and yeah. that's the vanilla spice flavored eggnog. That really is a winner, and really, you can't compare the two. So, I they're both really good. They're both really good for what they are. This tastes like pumpkin, this tastes like vanilla. So, which one would I buy again and drink regularly? The vanilla, yeah, but it's a shame it's so high calorie, it is very high but, calorie it's, but it's very, very, very good. So, yeah. um, thanks for watching.